Hey guys, we're going to be going to Death Machine for an all mission clear, and we're going to be using Esther to tank everything, including the like million plus damage fixed attacks. So let's get in here and give it a go and see if we can make this work. This is going to be a little tricky to pull off, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So we're going to start off with Venera doing marauder armor and marauder and we're going to use her to break this wait a moment change targets and break the other one we want to get a 90 percent break on these little guys um we're going to use kaito to magnus receding and man of few words other kaito is going to pure liquid man of few words and then just tranquil flow after this finishes that does imbue us with water which we don't really want we're going to use sylvie to fill Esther's LB gauge, we're going to Lightning Imbue, and we're going to um, Bolt Egg Basket. And then we're going to do the LB of Esther. That's going to put up Omni Cover as well as um, a 75% mitigation, which is all we really need for the turn 1 attack. Now, the turn 1 attack is a single 300,000 300, damage attack, but that's totally fine. Esther covers it, not too big of a problem. Okay, so this turn is an AoE fixed attack, so we're going to guard Esther to make her survive that a little bit easier. We're going to use an Esper to heal up Esther, and Sylvie's going to go to the base form. And let's do our damage first. We're going to do our damage with these guys, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and do some damage. This, this probably won't kill the Searchers. That's totally fine, though. We'll get them next turn. No big deal. Sylvie is now going to put up 85% mitigation. We're going to do a heal over time, and we're going to do, um, we don't really need Paladin's offense. Let's do a Compassionate Knight as well for a little bit of a barrier. Okay, so um, this is an AoE damage attack. It's pretty painful, but with Guardian on Esther and everything else, um, we're fine. So she had 65,000 HP as a tank build, and as you can see, I handled it pretty well. Now, we didn't quite get my Kaito's LB which I'm a little sad about because I really, I really wanted to get his LB that turn. But, um, oh well, I guess. All right. Now, you know what we can do is we can use Kaito's, um, or we can use Sylvie to fill it up the rest of the way. That's totally fine now that I think about it. All right, so we're going to use Esther to LB yet again. Let's see. Oh, we, we did fill his LB. Never mind. So let's go ahead and do the, um, let's do some healing with Venera. Let's have Sylvie shift this turn and do an LB buff for our Kaitos, because they aren't quite LB buffed at the moment. So there we go. And this is once again a, um, a single target attack turn, so not really a big deal. We've got Omni Cover with Esther, totally fine here. Okay. One more turn of Omni Cover on Esther, so we're going to guard her this turn. Because it's, it's, it's an, it's an, it's an uh, AoE attack this turn, which is going to be pretty painful. Alright, so we're going to guard Esther this turn. Venera will break, es break the boss this turn. Kaito's will Magnus. Um, Tranquil and whatever. Uh, other Kaito. Oh, don't shift. What am I doing? Don't shift. Don't shift. This Kaito will Magnus receding and Tranquil. Sylvie is going to replace that imbue yet again. We're going to Paladin's Offense. And we're going to... Um, let's see here. Where's the one I wanted? Here we go. Paladin's defense. Okay. So, once again, a uh, decent chunk of damage. Now, Esther should cover this pretty, pretty fine. Ouch. But it's okay. Esther's tanking like a champ. Love it. All right. So, turn five is going to be a, um, you know, painful turn again. Let's see. Esther is now going to 90% mitt. Magnus, and we can energizing. No, let's go ahead and True Storm actually for a bigger lightning and peril. And we'll do some damage with these guys. 
Wait for this to finish. Let's go ahead and top off our Esther. Um, let's see. Let's have turn five. We kind of want a barrier. I'd love a barrier from Sylvie if we could, but may not happen. May not happen. All right, let's see. Triple, um, yeah, we, we don't really have the LB for Sylvie. Okay, that's okay. What does that Sylvie fill LB gauge this turn? So we will clever three times. Okay. So we are in phase two at this point, as you can obviously see. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch, my god, ouch. But Esther is tanking it like a champ. That was an AoE. So much damage. So much damage. And we took it. Alright, let's go ahead and fill LB gauge again, I guess. And we can LB. And I think that might be... We can top off our Esther. I think that might be the end of the boss. And if not, we'll do it again next turn. Boom. There it is. We tanked the boss, including the AoE attacks. No one died. We never relied on guts. Perfect tanking so awesome venera is just using some esper fill so we can summon lakshmi and she's our 90 breaker paladin silva using some spirit so she can do some better healing although we didn't really use healing that much we kind of we kind of focused more on buffing with sylvie um some esper fill and shift form identical esther in the base form um we didn't use the base form so whatever shift form hp build so six thousand sixty five thousand hp um Evasion, Blizzard Orbs, we can counter and fill her LB gauge, because her LB gauge is very expensive. Um, and then just HP, 65,000 HP with the Power Cut card, and she tanked everything. And then my Kaito is 8,400 attack power with um, some LB fill, and then LB damage versus machines, 8,400 maxed and maxed. And shift form, uh, we didn't really use it, so there we go. And then friend, um, I think this was Oseal. Um, it, his only EX2, but he still has really high attack power because he actually made some rulers gear, which is kind of nice. Um, maxed damage versus uh, LB fill, as well as LB damage versus machines. And yeah, all mission clear on um, all mission clear on the the war mech. No one used guts. No one used. Um, no one died. Five man team. Pretty fun. Esther is. A crazy crazy tank and there it is uh, mine is ex3 so he scales a little bit better but still thank you Aseo, and thank you everyone else that built me um, Kaito's as well so that was fun um, definitely not the easiest way to do that clear um, there's definitely easier ways to do it but that was a fun way to do it okay see you next time